Hello everyone, I am Electromodder, and uh, first off I wanted to quickly explain why I've not been doing many projects lately. Um, the simple reason is school. Uh, I'm doing A-levels now and they're pretty difficult, so I've had to do a lot of revision and stuff, so yeah. But the other reason is this thing. Um, this, the actual building process of this was pretty quick. Uh, I had it done in about a week, to be honest. Um, I kind of had to rush at the end because I ran out of time. But yeah, this was a school project, so I had to do a lot of documentation for this. Um, yeah, the documentation was some like 72 pages long so that is what took a lot of my time and I'm really glad it's finished now so hopefully you will be able to see more frequent projects in the future because this is done I'm pretty pleased with it and um, yeah you might be wondering why I've not handed it in I don't actually have to hand this in uh, I had to hand in the documentation, but I get to keep this. Yes, bonus. So, yeah, let me show you around and explain it, I guess. Um, this, unlike my other portables, is actually an emulation device which uses the Raspberry Pi. So, it runs ROMs off of a flash drive like this one. You just put them in the top there. Yeah. Okay, um, I never put that in the right way around, ever. Not once have I tried to put that in the right way around. But anyway, yeah, that, that, that is a Raspberry Pi, basically, with a keyboard. All the buttons are just keys from a keyboard, which I chopped up. Um, yeah, it's got stereo audio amp, so two speakers, uh, I don't know that any of the things it emulates use stereo, but I don't know, maybe the PS1 does actually. But anyway, yeah, um, on the back, four trigger buttons, um, yeah, it's got an internal rechargeable battery thing, so plug the charger in there. <sighs> That's all the boring stuff, so let me show you it working, I guess. Oh, and it has a low battery indicator, which I don't think is working quite right because I think I forgot the pull down resistor. Uh, so I need to fix that. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, I, I did all the video and the documentation without me fixing that. So, whoops. Never mind. No one will know. I just have to fix it now, I guess. Um, if I can be bothered. I don't know that I can. I'm glad it's finally over. So I don't really want to go back and open this all up and fix something when it it, it works. Come on, it works. So <laughs> basically this takes quite a while to start up, as you can see. Uh it takes a couple of minutes. It's nearly done now. There we are. So uh, as you can see, when it starts up, it boots directly into this menu system. So you can scroll through and pick your uh, which console you want to emulate I guess um, so I will be showing you all of these and yeah these three the SNES Atari 2600 and Game Boy Advance work fine as far as I can tell but the PS1 and Mega Drive emulators or Genesis if you prefer um, don't they they run fine but for some reason, which I don't know, the, the screen size is tiny. They only run at like half the actual screen size. So, which was partly the reason for me using a 5 inch screen, because I knew I wouldn't be able to get those working. I'm not great with software, I'll be honest. Um, so yeah, I will show you all of these, I will show you that problem. Uh, let's start with the Super Nintendo. As you can see, it boots up pretty fast, uh, as you would expect, really. 
Um, yeah, all the buttons work. Uh, you can probably hear I use tacks with... I'll be right back. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Um, my phone rang. Uh, anyway, uh, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, tack switches. So, I don't know, I just kind of wanted the clicky feel on this one. Um, squishy ones are great, the way they sort of feel, but it's nice to know that you're definitely making that um, connection. So, I don't know, I just tried something a bit different for this one. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they all work. I don't think this one does anything, so yeah. Uh, the trigger buttons, L and R work. Um, yeah. show you the next one. Be right back. Okay, so it's booted up and this is the Atari 2600 emulator. Wonderful. My dog's barking. Okay, he's done. So, yeah, and steroids. As you can hear, the speakers get pretty loud. So that's not a problem. Except it doesn't have volume. So that is a problem. Oh, I know. But, yeah, no oh well. Cool project, done now, yay, next. Something else. Not this. I've been working on this too long. I suck at this game. So the next one is the Game Boy Advance. Um, let's do a bit of Pokemon. Everyone loves Pokemon. I'm not a person in the world who does not like Pokemon. That is a fact. Someone says I don't like a woodnut. Someone says I don't like Pokemon. But talking about. Uh, yeah. All the buttons work. Um, yeah. Uh, I played this game too much. Yeah. About that. Um, anyway. That's Pokemon. I mean, Game Boy Advance. But yes. It's Gary's house. Let's go see. stories outside the house. It's like windows upstairs and downstairs and you go in and there's just no stairs. <laughs> it's just one floor. <laughs> How's that work? It's just a secret ladder somewhere just going up to the next floor. Hmm. Fix your game, Pokemon. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. It's an old game. Uh, I'm rambling again. So yeah, next game. I mean, emulator. I mean, you know what I mean. Go. Okay, so the next one is the PlayStation 1, I believe. Um, this one 
you don't actually have the menu system, it's a bit different than before. You have to use the menu system which came with the emulator. It's not a problem. Um, but uh, this is, as you can see, almost. Not the cursor, ignore the cursor, that never happened. Um, <laughs> as you can see though, it runs at half the screen size. I don't know why. That makes it two and a half inches uh, diagonal, which isn't great. Believe it or not, it's playable. The little camera makes it look awful when I get too close. Okay, so with this one, like the PS1 emulator, it only runs at half the screen size. So, close up again, I guess. Ew. Mm. Well, I mean, it's all pixelated, and the camera doesn't like it because it's a screen. Okay, so, okay, so that's about it, okay, so that's about it for showing you this thing, so, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, um, if you're wondering why I'm talking, I have it in my other videos, uh, I kind of want to talk in my videos now, because I can explain stuff better and easier and quicker even though this video has gone on for a very long time. Um, yeah, um, if you're wondering why I sound really sort of, I don't know, crappy and forced or whatever, or actorish, then that's because I don't really talk much in front of cameras and I don't really like talking to people much. I don't really like people or cameras or microphones or anything that can hear me, really. So, uh... Yeah, I I would blog because apparently that sort of the more videos you make, the better you get at it. But I'm pretty boring, just generally. I don't really have anything to talk about other than these things. So yeah, I'm hoping to talk about these things in my project update videos, and uh, that's about all I can do. So um, yeah, you'll hopefully. Hear more projects by me, because this is done. Hopefully I'll talk more. Yeah! We're talking. So, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Woo! Videos. <laughs>